Hello everyone, we will continue that topic. In the previous videos, we created the windows, we created the respective templates, table, text, table line inside the windows. And we did the labeling part. Labeling part means we did the hard coded text. We finished with the hard coded text means order details, order number, header details, order date, payment mode, total amount, currency, item details, order item number and item cost. Means whatever the labels are there, we finish with that part. Now we will start with the logic part so that we can display the values at respective locations in the layout. We'll start with this. If we will see the layout for this smart form, whatever the layout we designed, we are displaying the layout for a order number we are displaying the values of a order number inside this layout. So it means order number is the input for this particular smart form. In the first video, when we started with the topic smart forms, we discussed whenever you want to give a input, or whenever you want to take a output from the smart form, we will always, always make use of form interface. So inside the form interface, in the import tab, we will declare a parameter for order number. I will declare a parameter for order number. Suppose name of the parameter is P underscore O number. Type data element. I will pass the data element for order number. Now we will start with the logic part. Means we will fetch data from order header table. We will fetch data from order item table and we will display at respective location. I will go to global definition. So what we are doing in every program also, we are firstly creating the structures. So in smart forms, if we want to declare structures, if we want to declare user defined types, we will make use of these types tab. So I will firstly declare a structure of order header table. Then I will declare a structure of order item table. Types. Begin of, suppose my first structure is LTY underscore data. Now, in the layout, in the output, we have five columns from order header table. One, two, three, four, five. It means I will create a structure of five columns and it is very easy to create a structure. Just copy paste. Order number, type, data element for order number, Order date, type, data element for order date. Now I will go for payment mode, type, data element for payment mode, total amount, type, data element for total amount. Now I will go for fifth column that is currency. I will end this particular structure. 
similarly i will create a structure from of of order item table types taken of suppose my second structure name is lty underscore data one i will open the order item table now and copy paste from there in the output of smart form we are displaying two columns from order item table so i will create a structure i will firstly take order number because that is common column type data element for order number order item number type data element for order item number then item cost type data element of item cost end of my second structure after that what you are doing in every program you are declaring the internal table and work areas and if i want to declare internal table work areas variables i will go for global data tab i will declare first internal table lt underscore data suppose type table of what is my first structure lty underscore data now i will declare the work area type lty underscore data similar way i will declare the internal table and work areas for order item table one one same thing you are doing in program but in the program you are writing the logic in continuous manner here we have dedicated tab now we will write the logic and we will write the logic in the initialization tab i will start with the logic part select order number order date payment mode total amount currency from which table order header table firstly we are fetching data from order header table we will store into internal table what is our first internal table lt underscore data where what is the where condition what is the input for this smart form input is order number and where you gave the input in the form interface import tab because import means input so this is your input i'll simply simply pass here now we will fetch data from foreign key table or secondary table or dependent table or you can say our item table and you know very well whenever we want to fetch data from dependent table always always we have to check for not initial condition if first internal table is not initial it means if the data is coming into first internal table based upon that only we will fetch data from second table select o number order item number item cost from which table now i am fetching order item table order item table and i will store into internal table suppose my now my second internal table is lt data 
for all entries in our first internal table where order number is equal to first internal table order number it means first internal table order number will act as a input to fetch data from item table now we will see our first query in the first query input is it input is order number and data is going to this internal table it means this is input and this is our output so how i will write this is input and this is our output now for the second query this internal table order number is acting as a input and the output is going to this internal table it means this is our output internal table so we gave the input and output now what you are doing in the programs after fetching the data you are passing the data to the work areas and you are displaying the output through write statement this is the way how we are displaying the output in the program we are putting a loop on the internal table we are moving it to work area and we are displaying through write keyword in here also we will firstly move the data from internal table to work area how we will move we know whenever you are passing a order number always single record is coming into this internal table so rather than loop i will go for read table because if you are sure that single matching record is coming read table is always always preferable so i will simply write read table what is my internal table is lt data into ls data and i will write index 1 because we have only single record in this internal table and we moved it to this work area from the internal table data moved to work area it means this work area is our output now we move the data to the work area for first internal table similar process we have to do for second internal table also if you see the layout our second internal table will be used to display the item data item data if you remember this is our window and we created a table inside this window so that we can display the item data because item data is the dynamic we have so many rows so it is very easy in the smart form to to put a loop or to put a loop on the item data in table itself we have a option you can double click on the table we have a tab data so here itself we can put a loop and we can move it to work area what is your internal table in which you have the item data it is lt underscore data one and you are moving it to work area ls data one so now from the internal table we move the data to the work area so now our next target is we will display the header and item data at the respective locations this part we will continue in the next video thank you